Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you our latest segment, the lemonade bouquet. Yes, it's summertime, the days are long, the temperature's high. What better time for a glass of cold, cool lemonade than right now? The basis of our lemonade bouquet is the Oasis Rainbow Foam in the powder format. The lemon yellow is perfect. And I'm just filling my lemonade pitcher from the house. I guess I won't be drinking lemonade today. And filling it with the rainbow powder. It's dry right now. I'm just kind of filling it up. And it takes quite a bit. My pitcher takes almost a half a bag. Kind of messy. I'm pushing it down in. Getting the little bits back in. Then before I fill it the rest of the way, I go ahead and add some water. And you'll see it just sinks down to where I may need more than a half a bag because it condenses so much. And then I go back and add more powder. I don't want it to be so thin that it's watery because if I do that, it won't support any flowers that I put in there. And also when it's watery, it can separate so that you end up with a layer of water on the bottom and the foam rising. So there's a magic balance between how much foam, how much water, and it takes some experimentation to really see what works best. So you're going to want to play with this. If you find that yours separates, then just use like a measuring cup and bail out a little bit of the water so that it gets drier. Add a little more powder and then go ahead. If yours is too thick, go back, add a little water, pull out some of the foam so you can adjust it A little more powder. Let me get my next pitcher of water because it's going to take more than a full pitcher. Which is grand because that means there's going to be ample water to keep the flowers alive for a very long time. Now before I add more, I'm going to start packing this down a bit because it's starting to separate a little, and I don't want that to happen, so I pack it down. I actually use my hands, get it down in there. Then I go back, add more powder. So when I'm done, it looks like I'm going to be using almost three-fourths of a bag for a large pitcher like this. Packing it down. I don't need any more water. Now I just need to get the powder in there so it's nice and full. And then once it's perfect, I can take a paper towel, clean off the edges, and be ready for my flowers. White dendrobium orchids are a long-lasting, wonderful flower to fill in for the lemonade bouquet. I'm just taking a cut and setting it down into the vase. Looking at where the faces are, making sure you lean the right one the right way, coming out from the spout like it's spilling forward. And just filling in. All the way around. That one's a little stiff. I'm going to shorten him. I'm using him up a little higher. There we go. And then just kind of looking at them. Picking the ones that drape the best to come out towards the front. And then the ones that are a little stiffer or looking the wrong way come up in the back. You don't want it to be totally one-sided, but you want your flowers to look like they're spilling out of the pitcher, coming out through the mouth. And then just a few kind of coming back up. How many flowers do you need? How many do you have? I've got about 10 stems here, and that's plenty to fill this pitcher perfectly. A little bit of solid aster in vivid yellow to bring the yellow of the foam up towards the top, carrying it into the design just a bit, tucking it in, adding some lemon zest to the bouquet, breaking it down, maybe using a little bit of the longer pieces, 
coming towards the back. And then a nice piece up towards the front, nestling it in. And then a little bit of grass, just to give more flowing movement coming out with the orchids. Like they're spilling forward. Even a few coming up towards the top and spilling out to the front. With your leftover little florets, fill glasses with the rainbow powder, add a couple bindi straws, and then tuck in the extras. Makes a great little accent. You can even use them as gifts for the guests to take home or just enjoy them yourself after the party. Doesn't take much, just a couple blooms nested in. For more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you've got questions, don't hesitate to contact us. You can reach us at the website or pick up the telephone at 1-800-819-8089. If email is easier, feel free to use my personal email. It's Leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. For now, happy lemonade time. Have fun and do something you love.